Hi Aries, thank you for viewing me today. My name is Elena and welcome to Searchlight Tarot. I am doing a general spread for you. It's good from now to the end of May. I have not done one for you for a few weeks. I'm going to look at your current energies and then what's coming towards you from now to the end of May. And then the last row at will be guidance from my spirit guides. This is a general reading. It cannot resonate with everyone. Feel free to switch some energies around. And if you're a cross watcher, same thing. This is good for Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus. One more shuffle and I'm going to begin. Okay, spirit guides, what do we have for Aries? Now show me their current energies. Current or something that's recently gone by. What do you want to show me for my Aries out there, please? I will tell you that pre-shuffle judgment did pop out and fly in front of me. Mm. So, I don't know. Are you guys judging something right now? One more shuffle and I'm just going to get right into it. What I feel. Got to listen to what I'm feeling. How I'm feeling. I hear my spirit guides. Okay, spirit guides, what do you want to show me for Aries' current energies or something that's recently gone by? What do you want to tell me about my Aries' energies right now that this reading is for? Their current energies are something that recently has gone by for my Aries out there. For the sign of Aries, thank you. Mm. Mm. What would you like to show me for my Aries out there, please? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Mm, not going to take those. All right. Bottom of the deck is I have the five of pentacles. You feel like you gave and gave and gave and gave to something because underneath that I have the three of swords. That's the heartbreak. And then I have the seven of swords. It's about someone who... Uh, you know, try to get away with something, but they left a trail behind with the Two of Pentacles. Really looking at this, juggling with it. That's how I feel with the Queen of Pentacles. It has made you realize your self-worth, Aries. Looks like you gave into something that broke your heart. I'm gonna start to my left, this is how I do it. I have the King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, that's Taurus energy in reverse, but, you know, the King of Pentacles is all about having his stability, money, materialistic items, groundedness, but in reverse, it's somebody who might not be thinking of, this is what I'm feeling, their consequences from being an unstable person. Mm, mm-hmm. The next card out is the Six of Wands. It is the victory card, fire energy, your energy, because right next to that, I have the Fool. Zero major arcana, Aries slash Aquarius energy, but it's going into a new direction, taking a new leap of faith. And right next to that, I have the Page Cups, water energy, but the Page Cups, is eager to get love started, but what I'm feeling from the card is I think this is the person you've been dealing with or have been dealing with, um, not thinking of their consequences of giving not a whole lot of love. Mm -hmm. Next card out is the Two of Cups with the Nine of Cups, and this is hoping and wishing for a love union. This is what I'm feeling. It's not your reading, it's not your reading, you guys. But this is what I'm feeling from this. Um, I got the nine of coins, and this is about mastering who you are. You know, with that queen of pentacles under the deck, this is about you know your self-worth, you know you're worth a lot. Because what I'm feeling from this is somebody was either very immature with love, not thinking of the consequences. You know, that's very young energy in love. And with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups, it's a lot of water energy, but wishing for a love union. And maybe it's for a love union to get back together, but at the same time, you're holding on to what you've mastered about yourself. That's what this card is about. But at the same time, Aries, we're being trapped in our thoughts. 
You know, I mean, I don't know how you couldn't be trapped in your thoughts if you gave into a situation, gave and gave and gave, and it broke your heart, you know, and um, if someone tried to get away with something here, you know, Seven of Swords can is a card of sneaky, deceptive behavior, but it could be about strategy too, you know, and it puts you at an in and out phase of feeling juggled or they were juggling. But at the end, this is what I feel you are. You, you know your self-worth. I mean, seriously, it's like, I don't know. If you're going through something like this right now, I am going to look at the person you are dealing with. This is where it gets interesting. Okay, spirit guides, show me what I have for the Aries person that they are dealing with that this reading is for. Oh, bunch of cards popped out. A couple more shuffles, Aries. Okay, spirit guides, what do you have for Aries about the person they've been dealing with? Hmm. Mm, not quite ready yet. Maybe a different deck. I don't know. One more shuffle. What do you want to show me for Aries about the person that they've been dealing with? Okay. What do you want to tell me for my Aries out there about the person they've been dealing with? What do you want to show me, please? Show me about this person Aries has been dealing with. Tell me about their energies, please. Thank you. What else do you want to show me so I can tell Aries out there about the person Aries is dealing with mm, mm. got the two of cups on the bottom of the deck with temperance and the ace of swords and death oh oh man two of cups they feel the connection aries they totally feel it with temperance here this person is trying to balance and blend and be patient mm -hmm. At the same time, with the Ace of Swords and Death here, Major Arcana for Scorpio, Death card, Ace of Swords, Air Energy, they're trying, tra they're trying to transform themselves into a new way of thinking about something. Because I can see you gave a lot into this, and with the King of Pentacles in reverse, this is very unstable energy, you know? And with that Page of Cups here, yeah, you know, they, they it was immature love, you know? If you're a cross watcher, it could be reversed. <laughs> First card on my left is the Seven of Pentacles about the person you're dealing with. Do I want to put more work into this? Hold on. Let me see what I feel in a minute here. With the Four of Wands, they are thinking about it. The Four of Wands is my 1111 new beginnings gateways about to open. The Seven of Pentacles is right next to it thinking about it. I have the Three of Pentacles, the Union card. In a love reading you know it's about working to get that triangle of stability thinking about do I want to open this back up do I want to put more work into this to work on that union they have the nine of coins as well they are staying grounded and um, you both have it you both are staying grounded and the nine of coins is achieving your self-worth hold on I got the page of swords because they are thinking about something in a new way. Underneath their energies, they had the two of cups with temperance with the ace of swords and death transforming the way they're thinking. I think this person stalled out right now. Page of swords, they call it the spy card. I'm kind of sensing that this person is starting to think in a different way. Last card out. I have the two of pentacles. I told you. They're thinking about this. They're thinking, you know, they feel that connection. That two of cups doesn't pop up unless there's a connection here. They know there's a connection here, but they're juggling with the idea. They're deciding, do I want to put my work into this? They're thinking right now, Aries. They're thinking right now, you know. Um, definitely, you both have the two of cups. There's a connection here. Unstable energy. I, I just, I'm just feeling like this person is just stalled out. Just, the whole thing is just stalled out right now. You both are staying grounded, knowing your self-worth. You have the queen of pentacles, you know, underneath the deck. And you are thinking about this too. You know, feeling like someone tried to get away with something. Mm -hmm. Broke your heart because you gave and gave and gave into a situation. No. Let's see what my spirit guides want to say. Mm. Best part kind of guidance 
do you have for my Aries out there, spirit guides? What do you want to tell Aries out there, please? What would you like to tell them? Mm. A couple more shuffles. What do you want to tell Aries out there, please, spirit guides? What kind of guidance do you want to give my Aries out there? All <laughs> right. Okay. What do you want to tell my Aries, spirit guides? What kind of guidance do you have for my Aries out there? Okay. I have the hangman feeling stuck with the ten of coins. And my guidance is you will get unstuck to master your stability in this situation. All right. What do you want to tell my Aries out there, spirit guides? What kind of guidance do you want to tell them? What kind of guidance do you have for my Aries out there, spirit guides? What kind of guidance for my Aries, please? Thank you. What else do you want to tell Aries? What kind of guidance for this love situation they're going through? Anything else? Thank you. Uh oh. All right. These are my lap. First card to my left is the lovers. This is the major arcana for Gemini. It is a very, very, very strong karmic, karmic union. And they are the hardest. They are the hardest. Nothing is easy. Nine of cups in reverse. You know, hold on a second. With the hermit. And what they want me to tell you. Withdraw and really analyze this wish you want. The Hermit is the Virgo energy, but it's withdrawing to find your answers. You know, and with the Nine of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups upright, it's about wish fulfillment. Analyze your wish. This is what I'm hearing. I have the star, Major Arcana for Aquarians, heal, blending hope and faith, because right next to that, Aries, there it is. I have judgment. Two big major arcanas for my spirit guides. You know, judgment is uh, your ju judge this. This is what I'm hearing. Have hope and faith and heal that everything is going to work out in the long run. But judgment is about releasing things to rebirth new things. It doesn't mean this is over or does, it can mean something new is coming towards you. Next card out is the Nine of Swords with the King of Cups. You know, Nine of Swords is you being trapped in your head with the King of Cups here. My fair guides want me to tell you to balance your heart with the mind. Very hard thing to do. It's not easy. And heal with that star card. Judge the situation. You got a lot of major arcanas. Withdraw and really analyze this wish. Last card out. We got the Queen of Wands. Come on, man. This is your energy. The Queen of Wands, last card out for my spirit guides, man. It is the Queen of Wands does not settle for less. Knows what the Queen of Wands want. I mean, look at that energy. That is fire energy, your energy. The Queen of Wands is charismatic, worthy, alive. Knows what the Queen of Wands wants and the Queen of Wands doesn't back down. Stand in your power. Mm, the beautiful queen of wands will let it come to her but she won't be determined to give up either you know i mean with the nine of swords and the king of cups it's heal your thoughts balance those thoughts with your heart judgment with the star release things but have hope and faith everything's going to work out to your advantage analyze that wish you have analyze it maybe some things in it need to change because we have the lovers. It's about a strong karmic connection. You know, it's also about duality with yourself. The good and the bad, duality. All right, I'm going to get a few messages from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. Where are you? <laughs> they are. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, spirit guides. What do you want to tell my Aries out there? One card or two. What would you like to tell Aries out there, please? What kind of guidance do you want to tell my Aries today? One or two cards, please. What would you like to tell Aries, Spirit? What do you want to tell Aries, Spirit Guides? Whoa, there's the two cards. All right. I will start with Queen of Michael. Mm. Queens, mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. I guess they just want me to tell you to stay focused right now. I got a feeling everything's in divine timing, divinely guided. Next card out is the Six of Gabriel. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. It says award scholarships, scholarships or promotions. Hey, I think what this is telling me to tell you is stay grounded, stay determined in the queen's power. Don't bow down. You know, I'm surprised the emperor didn't show up. I feel that everything's going to work out, whatever it's supposed to be. If it sounds like you're reading and it helped you in any way and you enjoyed it, please remember to like, leave me a comment, subscribe. It helps my channel. I'd be very grateful. And thank you to everyone who already has. And um, Aries, hang in there and have a beautiful day. Thank you so much.